It's time for ship girls, boys and girls. Today we have the unboxing of uh, Azua Lane Crosswave, which just came out on the PS4. And specifically, it's the collector, or if you've played Azua Lane Shiki Cans, collector um, calendar edition, which is a version of the game that comes the calendar. Now there is like a super special edition with like a soundtrack and some pins and stuff. I, I didn't really like many of the, the pins of the girls. They're not really my favourites from the game, so... Anyway, um, that is the side view of the stuff. And on the back, we've got the tagline. Change the title of battle in a 3D action shooter. And as you can see, we've got a ton of fan favourites on the back. There's Prinz Eugen, um There's Belfast, Akagi, uh, and Kaga, her sister. We've got a uh, Unicorn, Atago, um... Enterprise, can't remember her, Shimakaze, can't remember her name, and we've got Z23. And um, this kind of shows off some of the things. There's over 50 girls, there's four different game modes, and you can kind of customise stuff. A bit like the game itself, the mobile game. Um, I'm quite a fan of it myself. I'll show you guys a picture of my current Team 1, my formation. It's not like super high tier, but um, it does contain Portland, my wife, who I, I've literally authed in the game, as you can see there. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to crack open the plastic and then we'll take a look at what's inside. All right, I've uh, pulled off the plastic and um, so I don't I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure if you buy the game now or, you know, within the like launch window, I'm pretty sure every version is the calendar edition. Um, I could be wrong though, um, but there we are. That is the front cover of the regular game. Um, and I do believe that is the reversible cover, as we'll take a look in a second. The back is identical to the big thing. And of course, the reason I got this, well, I kind of want to support the game anyway. But also the reason I got this is we have a lovely desk calendar, which we'll also take a look at. Um, so, first off, I think I'm going to crack this open just to take a look at exactly what's inside. So, as shown, uh, we've got, this is the cover, that's the side, as, as I mentioned, the back is different, that's the disc if anyone wants a look. I'm guessing these are like game exclusive characters, as in like maybe they're introduced in this and they'll probably be introduced in the crosswave later on. We have the same cover as the box there for the manual, however, I was wrong about the reversible cover, as it does seem to be different, so I'm going to apply this to the thing. And there we go, that's the uh, new cover. Honestly, I think I slightly prefer this but I don't know that covers pretty cool as well I may switch these out the back is the exact same as well um, I think the appeal of this maybe is that you wouldn't get the age ratings and stuff and I think it says idea factory there there we are they're the publisher and on the back obviously if you played the game you will recognize uh, Yongshi your star and Manju who are the very very cute little duck bird things you get in the game. Also in terms of uh, manuals you get that which is really really basic stuff. Uh, and these two warnings uh, which are always fun. They're, they're my favourite part of a game. Anyway I'm going to put the disc and stuff back and then we'll take a look at the calendar. Alright I'm back. I changed the front cover again because I preferred it. So we have the 2020 calendar which is useful but it kind of it is launching at the end of February 2020 so that's kind of a month gone already. That is the back, it's just kind of plain and stuff. So I'm going to have a real quick flip through. I don't really want to spoil it for many people. But, oh, is that Laffy? That is. Is that her retrofit outfit? I can't tell. Anyway, um, oh, also, you can you can kind of... So that's how it looks as a desk calendar. Um, oh, oh, it starts with March. I'm an idiot. Okay, so it probably goes into 2021 then, probably, because I haven't missed anything. Well, we'll have a very quick flick through. Um, as I said, I don't really want to focus too much. Um, but yeah, we've it's like some fantastic art. There we are. We have um, May's image, which may call the FBI on you. We have Atago and her sisters, I do believe. Um, they're the new ones, probably, for July. Oh, when's my... What's my birthday month going to be? Uh, it is. Oh, it's, it's Laffy again. Wow. That appears to be a completely different costume yet again. Although Laffy is the starter ship I chose um, and part of my fleet. Hey, we got Z23, another starter ship. And we'll... Ooh, ooh, no. Oh, yo, okay, October. We got like a spooky kind of thing going on. I I love the events of Azul Lane. Um, like, the stories are a little bit kind of fillery, but they are fun. Hey, we've got the... Um, 
not the Eagle Union, what do you call the the British one? I, I should know. Uh, hey, we got a Christmassy one for December. Oh, we got Ping Hai there and a few of the Chinese chips, I think. We have, hey, there we are. That's just the front cover, but extended then. That's that's pretty cool, actually. This uh, shows some more stuff. And probably February next year. Hey, there we are. And that's not that at all. Okay, well, very nice. And uh, oh, on the back is just, uh, that's really cool, actually. That's, yo, that's a pretty good thumbnail. Actually, not gonna lie, that's um, probably gonna be the thumbnail of the video. Yeah, so um, in terms of the game, I've seen a bit of gameplay. I will admit, it's not the like most mind blowing thing. It looks a little bit cheap. Um, so I I don't know, but like it's a it's a game I wanted to support and stuff. I do quite like Azua Lane, um, although I'm not I'm not big on microtransactions and stuff. So I thought, well, this is a pretty good way to support the game, really, in a sense, and I get a game out of it as well. Um, I might put up some videos of me playing it. I don't know. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to get into it. Probably a decent amount. It looks like quite a fun grindy game and maybe something I'll try and platinum. Unless that gets ridiculously hard, in which case I will drop it and pretend I never said anything. And that about wraps it up. It was a quick unboxing. and Admittedly, it wasn't like a crazy cool collector's edition, but I mean, I was going to buy it on release anyway, and I, as I said, I don't think you can get the standard version without the calendar. So yeah, if if you like the look of this and fancy a nice little desk calendar that will make everyone in the office question you, um, I guess if you buy it soon, you'll probably be able to get this. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this, I've got some other like weeby unboxing things on my channel, uh, and that's about it. I Yeah, I'll see you guys again. Goodbye.